Welcome to my channel and if you're an old friend welcome back girl um so today i'm just doing like a really easy look from the Lorac unzipped palette um it's one of my favorite palettes i use it all the time but i've realized that i don't really use it that much on um my channel and so i wanted to film some tutorials with this look it's super duper easy just like a lot of my eyeshadow looks i want to make videos that like the everyday regular woman um, can use and apply to her face. Not everyone spends half their day watching YouTube videos. So um, if you come across my video, you can figure it out with this little rock palette. I'm gonna be talking you guys through this tutorial. I feel like I haven't done a talk through in a minute. Um, but I just wanna explain what I'm doing with certain brushes. And so, yeah. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look right here, then keep on watching because the tutorial is up next. Before we start this tutorial, I want to remind you guys real quick to click the subscribe button right down there. Make sure that you're subscribed and that the notifications are turned on so you guys can see my videos as soon as I upload them. That would be awesome. And now let's get into the tutorial. So I'm starting off with priming my eyelids with the glitter glue eyeshadow primer from Too Faced. And I just want to make sure that it's all over my eyelids so that my eyeshadow stays in place. And now I'm setting down my eyeshadow primer with my translucent loose setting powder. And I'm actually using Burnt Orange from the Modern Renaissance palette as my transition shade. So I'm using Unbelievable on my finger to put that color on my eyelid. And I really feel like fingers pick up the most pigment. And so that's why I really like to use my finger when I'm applying colors to my mobile lid. I'm taking Unconditional on a fluffy blending brush in my crease just to blend out Unbelievable a little bit. Unconditional is that really pretty dusty pinky mauve shade in the palette and I like to use it to just blend colors together. So now I'm taking Unbridled on a pointed crease brush. I like to use pointed crease brushes sometimes for the outer V or outer C of my eyeshadow look because they give you like a really diffused but also controlled eyeshadow application. So it's practically doing the work for me. If you can tell, like I'm just kind of putting it in that C shape, but I don't have to blend it a whole lot. Like it kind of does the work for me. Um, but I am just kind of smudging the edge out a little bit with my transition shade one more time. And then I'm pretty much gonna be done with the look. I was pointing to the sweat on my nose because for some reason that's always where I get a little bit of sweat. But yeah, so now I'm just adding in some blush. That's Dahlia by Becca, one of my favorite rosy blushes. And I'm just trying to carefully apply that. It comes out looking a lot stronger in the camera than it does in real life. I promise you guys, it's not that strong in real life, but my camera picks up everything. So now I'm just taking Unbridled on my lower lash line and I'm using like a very narrow pencil type brush to kind of blend out that color on my lower lash line. Um, I wanted a pencil type brush just to apply it to my lower lash line um, and it's helping me blend it out a little bit but like not too much I'm adding undiscovered on my inner tear duct with another little pencil brush and now I'm just adding a winged liner this is the NYX gel liner and I really love it for those super thick defined winged liners that I like to do. I have another video where I go into further detail about how to do the perfect winged liner and I will link that down below.
So for my highlighter, I'm combining those two colors from Wet n Wild, and I really love the effect that it gives me. It's just like a very natural, glowy look, and that's really the type of look that I love for the winter time when my skin is so dry. It just looks like just kind of glistening in the sunlight. I love it. To finish off this look, I am using LAX by Colourpop, and it's like a darkened burgundy shade. It dries kind of funny, it's honestly not my favorite formula, but I love the color, so I kind of just grin and bear it. I added two coats of this so it would be even darker and more pigmented. That's it for today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Maybe even share it with a friend because that would be a super cool. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. I know I was shouting at you guys earlier in the video, but that's because subscribing is important. So uh, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video and I love you. Bye. Hey guys, guess who got some new lights and a new wrinkly backdrop? <laughs> it's me.